Welcome back to Five Facts. This week's show is all about the mysteries of time. What the hell? I started the show like 12 seconds ago. Sorry, I'm just getting used to my new smartwatch. Just need to sync it to my phone via Bluetooth and then enter my watch code passcode. And then I need to download the system drivers. That's gonna take four or five minutes at least. Get the launcher app, which will sync to my Twitter account. And then the Twitter app will notify me on my watch every time I get a new app reply. Does that thing tell time? It's really more of a 2.0 feature. <laughs> The world's most accurate clock is at the National Institute of Standards and Technology in Colorado and measures the vibrations of cesium atoms. Even after 300 million years, this atomic clock won't lose a second. Oh, I have an atom clock. Really? Because they're very expensive. Yeah, they're yeah. highly si- Look. Is that, is that Adam Levine? Yeah. Woo, I gotta go. I gotta go my beatboxing class. Einstein's theory of general relativity show that the closer an observer is to a source of gravity, like the Earth, the slower time moves. Synchronized atomic clocks at different altitudes will eventually show different times. Well, what about those Himalayan mountain people? They live at a really high altitude and they live forever. Yeah, but they probably don't eat Funyuns. Yeah, but are they happy? Time, as we perceive it, has not always existed. According to the theory of relativity, time begins with the Big Bang around 13.7 billion years ago. Because space and time are connected, you can't have time without motion, that is, objects moving through space. The Big Bang set all matter into motion from one tiny point. Just like the concept of latitude begins with the North Pole, you can't travel more north than the North Pole. Similarly, you can't measure time before the Big Bang. Well, that's like the time that the Doctor had to reboot the universe by creating a second Big Bang, and then- uh, I'm sorry, the Doctor? Doctor Who? Yeah. I mean, does the Doctor have a name? Who? The Doctor. Yes, who? I mean, the Doctor's name you were just talking about. Who? The Doctor. Who is the Doctor? Why are you asking me? I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. Who is the Doctor? I'm asking you, who is the Doctor? That's the Doctor's name. That's whose name? Yes. Okay, let's say I want to send a package to this doctor. Mm -hmm. I wrap it up nicely, I put a few stamps on it, and I address it to who? That's the first thing you've said right! I don't even know what I'm talking about! Look, all I'm trying to find out is, what is the doctor's name? Oh, Doctor What? Yeah, that's a totally different show. Oh, 130 calories, that's not bad. It's actually per Funyun. According to neuroscientist David Eagleman, everyone is living about 80 milliseconds in the past. That is, the human brain doesn't perceive events in the present until a split second after they've happened. It's the mind's way of synchronizing the world so it makes sense. The light from a hand clapping reaches your eyes before the sound reaches your ears, but we perceive them at the same time. Researchers found you can unsync the audio from a movie by up to 80 milliseconds before audiences even notice. Oh, I gotta send my atom clock 80 milliseconds ahead. I don't think it really matters. It's just a. Oh, gotta go. I'm late for my glamour shot. Time on Earth is slowing down. Due to tidal forces, the solar day is lengthening by about 2 milliseconds per century. In about 200 million years, a day will be 25 hours long. Whoa! That means that my great, 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 Thank you for tuning in to 5 Facts. Take a little time to watch our other episodes, subscribe, and leave us a comment. Get it? Time? Because the show is about to Hey guys. Who are you? I'm you. But six months from now. You probably didn't recognize me because I am totally ripped. Anyway, I traveled through time to let you know that version 2.0 of your smartwatch is totally bank. Bank? Yeah, that's future slang for something that's really Todd. This one's got twice the apps, a time travel feature, and I'm watching my friends play Magic the Gathering right now. Does it tell time? 
it's really more of a 3.0 feature. Oh, really, Craig? Really, you're playing a goblin shaman at this juncture? I'm sorry, guys, I gotta go. Man, future me is a huge douche. But I guess that's what happens when you get totally ripped. We'll see you next week. That reminds me, I need to order a Bowflex.